Welcome back everyone. Uh, this is module three of Google Certified Educator Level One. Today we are going to learn about Google Meet. Now Google Meet is one of the latest applications of G Suite uh, and uh, why I like it is because off late uh, during the COVID situation Google Meet has increased the number of participants who can come on Meet to as high as 250 people. Yes, you are right. Almost 250 people can chat on Google Meet at one go. So what we'll do is we'll quickly learn as to how to start Meet and what are the options um, in Meet. Uh, so we will go on meet.google.com. I have disabled my camera for shooting so because I want wish to use the camera which comes in there for the Google Meet so that you could uh, have a so you could all see how it works so you get an alert here use your microphone and camera so click on allow it's a one time activity and as soon as you do that your camera is set now when your camera is set if you see that's my blue screen also which is uh, uh, you know shown here because Google Meet doesn't support the virtual backgrounds as of today so we click on join now now as soon as I click on join now it also gives you the meeting link so you could just click on this copy and send in a mail, uh, you know, your, your meet ID to the users. Or what you could do is directly send invite from the meet you have created. Uh, now once I do that, or you could select the entire grid, which is a good option. So I click on send mail. So all the students in that uh, particular uh, you know list get uh, you know invite. Now if you see the options here, that's your microphone. If you wish to turn it off, click on that. That's to leave the call, and that's to turn off your on and off your camera. And uh, that's your caption. So what it does is uh, now whatever I am seeing, it might. Uh, so convert into the captions here so it does take time to understand the accent uh, but if you are uh, you know careful about the words and the uh, and the accent it does type things pretty accurately and uh, if you click on present now it would share the entire screen so your screen gets shared, uh, you know. Uh, you can also start Google Meet from Gmail itself, but your G, G Suite for Education should allow you to do so. So if you, uh, if you see here, you get a link as start a meeting. So you can directly click on this and start a meeting through that link itself. So that's an alternative way of starting a Google Meet link. A very good option, uh, what I like about uh, Google Meet is I'll just stop sharing. And we is, uh, when I click, click on these three options here, you have an option of changing the layout also. So suppose you've got four presenters or three presenters and you would, you want a tiled format, you could do that. You could also record the meeting. So the recording is, you know, available here most of the time. So you could uh, yeah, click it on right now. My G Suite uh, doesn't allow a student to record. So that's why I cannot uh, do that. And if you click here, you again get the details of uh, the meeting as well as any attachments if you have. 
put in here in the meeting list. Now, one of the things you have to understand here is uh, you can start the meeting directly from the calendar also. So suppose you want to create a calendar invite with the Google Meet link. So you just click on, uh, you know, the title thing with student one. You'll just click on add Google Meet video conferencing. So as soon as you do that, the link gets created. I click on save. And the student who's added uh, to the link, who's invited to the link, uh, gets the email for that meeting itself. So it's a very helpful option. If you see Google Meet uh, is can be used for with 250 people at a time. It also works through Android app and iOS app. If you have an app uh, loaded on your phone, lets you screen share with the audience. And there was there is also a chat option so we didn't have any audience there but uh, what i forgot to add here was when you start a meet it does let you have a chat option also so these the audience can chat with each other when the meeting is uh, you know started so it's a good option. All the people who are attending the meeting are shown here. And all the people who are chat, who can chat here or you can leave a message here are shown here. So that was uh, Google Meet. You have, as I mentioned, you can do a lot of activities for your classroom teaching on Google Meet. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.